What's up YouTube? Welcome to PhD in Waves. In today's video, we're bringing it back to the basics. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to properly tie your do-rag. It's extremely important to know how to properly tie your do-rag because you wanna properly protect your hair or your waves and you wanna properly compress everything. And also you wanna avoid getting a line on the front and also in the back of your neck because that could create ingrown hairs. And also that's just gonna be overall uncomfortable. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly tie your do-rag. All right, so before you tie your do-rag, you wanna make sure your do-rag has nice, wide, long strings. Also, you want a durable do-rag so they don't rip. The reason you want nice wide strings, wider strings allow more compression to be spread out across your head, just so you avoid getting lines on your forehead. If you don't have a do-rag with nice long strings, you could always head over to phdandwaves.com to get yourself a silky do-rag. I have a bunch of colors available. As always, use code PHD10 to get 10% off your order. But with that being said, let me show you guys exactly how to properly tie your do-rag. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when you're tying your do-rag is you obviously wanna put the do-rag on your head. So once you have the do-rag on your head, you wanna make sure that this stitching is on the outside of the do-rag. You don't want the stitching on the other side because it's gonna create a line on your forehead and it's gonna create a line throughout your waves. So just to avoid that, just make sure that the string is on the outside. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the stitching is completely in the middle of your head. You don't want anything to be lopsided, so make sure the string is directly in the middle of your head. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your do-rag is in between your hairline and your eyebrows, just to make sure that your whole hairline is covered. So make sure it's directly in the middle of your eyebrows and your hairline. All right, the next thing you wanna make sure is you wanna make sure everything is nice and flat. When you're tying your do-rag, you wanna make sure everything is nice, flat, and covered, just so everything gets compressed properly. All right, so after that, you wanna grab your strings, these nice long strings, you wanna grab them, and you wanna make sure they're completely flat. You wanna make sure they're completely flat on both sides. So once you have your strings, what you wanna do is you wanna put them behind your ears. Simply put them behind your ears just like that. And you wanna make sure everything is completely flat. All right, so once everything is nice and flat and you have the strings behind your ears, what you wanna do is you wanna cross them over. You wanna cross the two strings over behind your head. And this is very important. When you're crossing over, you wanna make sure that everything is still nice and flat so you don't create any lines on your forehead. Another tip while you're crossing over, you never want the strings to cross over like this. You wanna make sure everything is nice and flat and you wanna keep the bottom string on the bottom and you wanna keep the top string on the top. You never wanna cross these over because as you could see, they're getting bunched up and that's just gonna create a line on the back of your head. So you wanna make sure everything is nice and flat. All right, so once you have them crossed over in the back, what you wanna do is you wanna bring them back to the front, back over your ears. And what you wanna do is you wanna take one side, one string, and you wanna cross it over the top of your forehead, just like that. And you wanna make sure everything is nice and flat so you don't create any lines on your forehead. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take the other string and just do the same thing. Cross it over right in front of your forehead just like that. You might have to hold this with the other hand, but you know, just make sure everything is nice and flat and cross it over, back over your ears, on both sides, back over your ears, and then just simply tie it in the back of your head. Just tie it, just make like, you know, a bow or a knot and just tie it. And after that, what you wanna do is you simply just wanna pull the back of your do-rag just to make sure everything is nice and compressed. And another thing I like to do is I like to just pull the front down a little bit just to make sure everything is nice, tight, and compressed. And that's pretty much how you tie your do-rag. I just wanted to make this a super quick video for any beginners who didn't really know how to tie their do-rag. Hopefully this video was helpful. 
Like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure to head over to phdandwaves.com to cop your silky do-rag. Use discount code PHD10 to get 10% off your order. Also, don't forget to follow PHD and Waves on all social media platforms. I have a lot of dope content on TikTok and Instagram. Make sure to follow me over there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. What's up, Wavers? Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to head over to phdandwaves.com to grab your do-rags, your brushes, and other Wave products. As a special thanks for watching today's video, use discount code PHD10 to get 10% off your order. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.